So falseness becomes the norm and that becomes equated with Vaishnavism. So I've, I've several times told her, told her this, that I, I was introduced to a devotee for the first time I met him. I was told he's a doctor and he came up to me and first thing he said, very excited, that oh, we just started an, a new eye camp. And he's told that's devotional service. So, it may not be his fault, but he came in association with people who told him that doing eye camps is devotional service. And that becomes the norm. So, Bhaktisiddhan Sosarak Thakur, he undertook, in his own words, the the preaching of true Vaishnavism and to gra to guard credulous people. Credulous people means people who are easily misled, innocent and foolish, which means most of the population. He undertook the preaching of true Vaishnavism, Vaishnavism and to guard credulous people against false doctrines, passing under the garb of Vaishnav faith for long, owing to the popular ignorance or the widespread ignorance of the Vaishnava philosophy. Because people, for it's been going on for a long time. Many, we may think that, well, things, in course of time, things will automatically get better, but we see that, that false doctrines, they become institutionalized, they go on, they go on for a long time, and then an acharya will come and present the actual philosophy, and then he has to fight to do that. And we'll find in all our temples they'll they'll say, "Oh, Bhaktisthan Saraswati, great acharya." But then they're going on with all <laughs> so many bogus ideas. Just he's great acharya. His pictures on the wall, and we do once a year we do a festival. And then we tell all these stories, but then again they're doing the, the, the good thing that by doing all these bogus things they may they may necessitate the Bhaktistan Saraswati or his follower to come again. <laughs> but but in the meantime they're making such a mess and misleading people. Dushtaman, Tumi Kisha Vaishnava. What kind of Vaishnava?